what's up guys it's Apollo Chia here back with the next part of what if Naruto went back in time this is a one shot that I created after reading some fan fictions online so yeah before continuing this part I would like you guys to subscribe my channel and leave a like and comment down below what other kind of one shots would you like me to do and as well as what other kind of series would you like me to do on this channel so yeah that's pretty much it for now let's continue Oh yeah, and P.S. No recap here. Naruto followed her quietly to the Uchiha compound. After entering, people there gave him a look and greeted respectfully to Madara. After entering to her main house, she went to the back garden and ordered Naruto to follow her, and so he did. After they sat down, she just began to simply stare at him. What? he asked, getting nervous now. She didn't answer and just continued to stare at him. After an hour went by of awkward silence, she said, Are those whiskers like marks are from birth or did you get scarred in a battle? Oh, these. As long as I can remember, I always had these since I was a kid. So I guess they are pretty much birthmarks, Naruto replied with a goofy grin. A little brush creeped on her cheeks, but she was able to suppress it due to her experience in battles and poker face. So how did an Uzumaki get here? Shouldn't you be in Uzu Shiogakure? She asked. Well, you see, I never have been there and I don't know where it is, he said with a sad smile on his face. She just stared at him. Now Madara, being a genius, figured it out and asked hmm tell me something are you from the future after hearing this his eyes widen as he then asked H how can you be so sure she scoffed do you think me of a rafu i mean look at your clothing i not to mention your headband crap naruto thought he then sighed and told her Yes, I am from the future and from a village named Konohagakure no Sato or the, villain, or the village hidden in the leaves. She just stared at him with a blank face. Interesting. So, how did you get back in time? She asked. Oh, well, old man say taught me this jutsu so I can get back in time to prevent humanity's destruction and pretty much save everyone's life. At this, she raised an eyebrow. Humanity's destruction, sage. What are you talking about? And don't get me wrong, it, hard to believe. it is hard to believe if you don't elaborate. Naruto sighed and looked at Madara with a serious face. Madara, what I am about to tell you is very important and many, no, almost all humanity's life rests upon your decision after what I am about to say to you, okay? Promise me first that you won't freak out and listen to me what I have to say calmly and carefully. After seeing his eyes full of determination, she nodded. Naruto then began to explain her about how the village was found and Madara and Hashirama how they fought at the valley of end and how he got defeated so basically he told her about all the history of shinobi up to the fourth great ninja war and his death by betrayal and of his death by betrayal of black zatsu kaguya infinite Tsukuyomi, and ten tails and him being naruto now being an earth's new guardian and immortal after pretty much that was it and after having him after hearing him, sorry, she couldn't believe him at first, but then she activated her Sharing Gun and looked into his memories to confirm. Let's just say she can do that. I am giving this ability to her due to plot convenience. After some time, she spoke. So I was a male, huh? Is this you're worried about? Your gender? That's it? Huh? Nuto yelled at her. She just glared at him and he piped down, whimpering. I now see that the truth. I, Uchiha Madara, leader of Madara, uh, leader of Uchiha clan, would kill this black Zatsu and sh be sure to save this world. 
even if it means that I have to form an alliance and create a village with Aho Senju. But I want you to stand beside me when I do that, Naruto Uzumaki, she said with a blush. Eh? But why do you want me beside you? Naruto asked, confused now. Seriously, another dense man. Great, that's what I needed, she thought and sighed. What I mean is, Naruto Uzumaki, I want you to marry me and help me rebuild the village. And with Hashiyama once again. Naruto, after hearing this, didn't respond at first and after some time, his face turned tomato red and then he passed out. Cold. With a nosebleed, Madara watched him knocked out and chuckled a, a bit. After two hours, he woke up and looked around and found out that it was already evening and he was lying on a futon on the floor in a classic Japanese style room. He was in deep thought. Did I make the right choice by telling her the future? Ah, uh, I don't know. At this point, he, I mean, oh sorry, she knows ah what the heck am i saying i don't even get it myself he just yelled at himself as naruto was rambling in his mind a voice spoke i think you did great kid plus with this we can prevent the war and save a lot of lives including jirai's your parents obito rin sasuke and itachi think about it plus you got to admit she's a keeper and she is into you, kid, Kurama said with a chuckle. After hearing this, an image of Madara proposing to him came in mind, and he blushed, just thinking about her, and then he went back to sleep. Next morning, he woke up to see Madara sitting down and looking at him, and she was smiling at him. What is it? he asked. Oh, nothing. Just looking at my future husband, that's all, she stated, causing Naruto to blush. Yesterday, I went to meet Hashirama at Hashirama at, and he wanted us to form an alliance and start a village due to others forming it and he stated that it will be beneficial for both our clans and after we were done I was returning home and found you. Sorry about that disturbance guys. So yeah, let's continue. We were done and I was returning home and found you. She stated. I see. So uh, he was cut off by her again. By her I mean Madara. And she said. Today, me and my little sister Izuna Uchiha along with some of our clan members are going to meet there with Hashirama and his clans, clanmen, and I want you to be there with me. At this Naruto asked, but you can do this without me, you know, after all I'm not an Uchiha nor a Senju, I don't see the point of me being there. She frowned and stated, you are my fiance, now Uzumaki Naruto, and I demand you to be with me there at all times, is that clear? She stated, glaring at him. Yes, ma'am, he said, nodding fastly. Time skip to the meeting point. Both Senju and Uchiha's are there, plus Naruto. Her, now Madara is holding his hand with tightly grip. And on the other side, Mito, Uzumaki, Hashirama and Tobirama are also there. After seeing Naruto, Tobirama asked, Raising an eyebrow. Who is this Madara? Ah, meet my fiance, Tobirama. Uzumaki Naruto. She said with a smirk. And Uzumaki? Impossible. All Uzumaki have red hair, which clearly he doesn't have, Mito stated, with glaring at Naruto. Um, I'm an half Uzumaki. I got my last name from my mother, Kushina Uzumaki, and my hair and eyes from my father, Minato Namikaze. Naruto replied to her. I see. And half Uzumaki, huh? She said, Tobirama said. Now, now. We're not here to f fight. We are here to form an alliance. So let's get on with it, shall we? Said Hashirama with his goofy smile. Mito just sighed.
but she didn't give up and she was still suspicious of Naruto and was staring at him which he noticed and was nervously avoiding her glare and Madara noticed this as well and got angry at Mito and said do you think my fiance is lying Mito Uzumaki she said with an angry tone to be honest yes I would like to do a test to clarify that you are Uzumaki or not after that we can talk about alliance Mito stated Madara looked at Naruto which he nodded and so she drew a seal on ground and asked Naruto to stand on it and said now all you have to do is drop some blood only three to two drops for on the seal to work if you are an Uzumaki it will glow and if you are not then it will remain the same he nodded after hearing this and he bit his finger and after a few drops of blood fell on the seal Madara, Hashirama, Tobirama, Mito along other Uchiha and Senju clansmen watched in shock as the seal glowed bright. After some time, Naruto asked, Is this enough of proof to you, Mito-sama? Mito nodded and smiled. Thank you, fellow Uzumaki, for cooperation, and I apologize for not believing you, said Mito. Uh, no problem, Mito-sama, he said with a goofy grin, to which she chuckled. Madara got jealous and grabbed him in a tight hug from behind, to everyone's surprise, and said, He's mine, so back off, Mito Uzumaki. Her shaving gun flared, st stating that. Uh, okay, Mito said, nervously jumping back, and Naruto just blushed. So alliance went well, and soon, within a few months, the village began to build. Civilians moving in and buildings were built. Also various clans joined the village such as Hayuga, Nara, Sarutobi, Yamanaka, Akimichi, Aburame, Inuzukas, Senjus and Uchihas and some somewhat Uzumakis as well. And this formed village hidden in the leaves and Hashirama became the first Hokage. Now during these months Madara and Naruto got close and married, as well as Izuna and Tobirama, as an alliance between Uchiha and Senju got married, whereas Hashirama and Mito married between as an alliance between Senju and Uzumakis. After some time, Naruto told Hashirama after Hashirama got suspicious of Naruto, so he had to tell him. Naruto told Hashirama, Mito and Tobirama about his future after insisting Madara about it and they were shocked and even more so after finding out that he was an ageless immortal and forever stuck in 16 year old body as well as earth's guardian after hearing this Ashirama vowed to never capture a tail beast and protect uzushi gakure from destruction and mito now informed about this to her father the current head of uzushi gakure and they upgraded their seals security system up to top notch so that they can defend against even five great nations all together alongside nine bijus as well as konha got the same security system as an alliance that who were killed off uh, that's who was killed off and naruto also went to moon and freed kaguya and told her to go tell your clan leave earth alone after seeing Naruto full power far greater than hers or even so of that of Otsutsuki king, she bowed and vowed to leave earth alone. And so Otsutsuki never bothered to come to earth again. Thus all future threats towards the earth from outer space were prevented. But the within was still the same, the wars and the things. Time skip, three years later. Madara gave birth to triplets, which Naruto named after convincing Madara as Kushina Uzumaki Uchiha, Minato Uzumaki Uchiha, and Sasuke Uchiha Uzumaki. Finally, the world was at peace, seeing Konha as the strongest village, rest of the four great nations, after defeating utter defeat in the two great wars, never engaged in a fight or a war again with Konoha 
and formed a peace treaty alliance so yeah this is where i'm gonna leave this story guys so this is where the one shot completes i hope you like this video and if you do leave a like comment down below on whether what other kinds of what ifs and one shots would you like me to do so this is apollo achiha and i'm signing out